Here we are on a new job. The start of a new job today. It's Tuesday, 13th of September. I don't know whether that's a good day. I hope it is. The skip's there, not for us, but for somebody else. Um, we're going to be using that for other things. We've arrived with the digger and the dumper. It's a cottage that the guy's bought. And, um, well, bungalow, and he's going to, he's going to do it up. And uh, the garden's in a bit of a mess. I'm going to go around and have a look at it. Oh, going through the garage, looking along here. Somebody's already put some fence posts in. We've got to put fence posts in all the way around. Take out the old godfather post that you can see sticking up. We've got to get all that fence up. I think that'll be the first thing we do. We might have to dig some soil and reduce the level over there. But eventually all the soil on this side has got to come off and go over this side and build this area up. So we've got plenty to do. We've got to dig out this area here as a patio area. Oh, out about as far as this to the first post. That's all got to come out. The skips outside because we want to get rid of the grass and that's sort of green waste. So that's um, that's no good for burying if you're going to have a lawn built on top of it. It's all right if it was a whole lawn, but taking off this side the soil only and putting on that side and building up so if you took the grass it would biodegrade underneath and, and rot and sink in time so we're getting rid of the grass as a separate issue. We're going to start on that fence along the bottom there but we've got to level a lot of ground and dig it down probably down to about a foot or more at that other end because we want to keep the fence level with the top of these posts here. So what we might do is get the dumper in and uh, some sand and gravel and just get that corner post in. We bought some corner posts and I think we get one in. That'll be a good start. So I'll go up here digging this fence out along here so that we can get a level post where the corner posts are going to be. Cutting through the roots and everything to get a line for where the new fence is going. But we're still having to take out lumps of concrete which were the actual footing for the last the existing fence that was long rotted away. So we just managed to get the corner post in. Right, just put the last little bit of mist around here, cementing this post in and I think we're sitting near home time. I'll say it's a bit for tomorrow. Yeah we're having to go quite deep here get this corner post in, there's only going to be about four foot of it above ground. The problem we have here is that the people who we had put this, these fence posts in, they've made a very nice job of putting them in, they're all nice and straight and level, but they're about a foot too low. And uh, Adrian, our customer, he doesn't want any step ups. So by the time we get round here, we're going to have to have more gravel boards to support next door's ground and the same over here. Even though a lot of this ground is going to be taken out, next door's ground is going to remain the same height and these trees. So we're going to have to put gravel boards to support all this soil from next door for coming through at this level. Which means that he's already bought the fence panels for here and uh, we might have to change them. Right, we've got our first panel in. Old dug, post, all level. Sam's holding it up there. Dumper full of concrete, ready to go in. And Sam here, and he's packing concrete underneath the gravel board, digging the, uh, the holes and putting concrete in and packing it in tight, all the way along. That stops the gravel boards and the fence panels from sinking at a later date. Right, Sam's got a post. We've completed the hole, put the gravel board in, and uh, just lowering it into the hole. That's great. We just got to prop it up now, jack it up to the height that we want, and get it in level, concrete round it. I had to dig a big hole around there because I couldn't get in with a digger to dig it, you know, it's right at the right angle, but that'll be well, truly solid with the concrete. As we're digging along here, we're going to take out all these concrete posts and behind them there's metal posts that seem to go down to the ground about two or three feet. And um, 
I don't know how they got them in there, but they're all covered up now. Okay, taking out the vegetation now, all these trees have got to come out, all these bushes. But um, this, this, this red one here, we've got to try and work around it and save it. But uh, as for this, it's got to come out. Just like that. These are easy to take out, they're only virtually sapling. out of here now and there's just this one post so we're going to try and get this without doing any any damage We dug all the way down here yesterday, it's, uh, it's our fourth day here now, about lunch time, and um, these metal posts in the ground, we're going to try and work as close to them as we can because it's almost impossible to take out unless we cut them off, we don't have to do something with them. But anyway, I think we should just be managing to keep inside them. We're digging down here now between the house, put a smaller bucket on, we replaced that gate post yesterday with a new concrete post, we've got some wood to bolt onto it. There's the remains of the old concrete blocks from the previous fence. And we're looking down there to join up with that fence now. We're starting to dig another hole. Getting that back filled. It's coming along nicely. It's Monday and we've got those posts in. As you can see, they're all nice and level and the gravel board's all the way along. There you go, just winding up for the night. Oh yeah. How's yeah. it coming along so far, Adrian? Well, to answer, yeah, I'm very impressed. Uh, I'm very pleased with the work that you're doing at the moment and that. Uh, you, you've had a few problems that, but uh, you've overcome them. So yeah, really happy the way things are going at the moment. Great stuff, thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. Yeah, just brought the last load of sand and gravel. Uh, ah. We've got about two, three more posts to put in and that's about it for the fence. Right, second but last post to go in now. Just putting the concrete round it. And uh, looking forward to getting the next one in in the next few minutes. It's the end of the day, it's after six. The fire's almost burnt itself out. We've got rid of all the greenery, buried all the rocks, got all the gravel boards in all the way around, and cut to size where they've not been a full one. But I've had a pretty good day. I'm scraping some of the grass off now and then putting it in the skip out the front there. Picking it out with the dump going through the garage because if you bury too much vegetation in the low spots, it'll the uh, biodegrade and it will sink at a later date. I'm getting rid of most of it and put it in the skip. So I've got rid of all the turf. I've started on getting the remains of this structure out now, it's a little bit tough. Well, it's Thursday morning. Quite a bit done yesterday with the ground. I'm actually working over here now, breaking up all this uh, rubble that I put in. This was from the remains of the structure that was over here. I've got that concrete post that's here and the concrete that was around it's broken up just going to go and break some bits up now and make it fit in there a few hours have gone by I've got um, all that hardcore in there nicely broken up I've got the other gravel board in down the bottom there and put all the soil behind it and uh, what I'm doing now is I'm digging out this patio area I've got to be careful digging around here they don't come into the building or anything and digging around the edges of the shovel. All this has got come out. I'm going to take it right out to about the first fence panel. About where that panel is over there. So, quite a bit of soil to come out. I'm going to try and lose as much as I can in the ground here, but uh, I guess someone will have to go away. I'm digging out the patio area here now. I'm taking the soil off over there.
brought a load of stones from the quarry, chipped it there where the skip was, and now bringing it in. Taken a lot of soil out of the patio area and put it up here and spread it out a little bit. I've got the final levels to do on it and compaction yet. And this is the base where the garage or shed is going to go. And I'm filling that up with the stone that I've just brought. So I've tipped that rubble here, and the reason why it's here, I'm using it to build up the level. Because the reason I put so much stone in here is that the ground was very low and if I'd have made the ground up with loose soil and then put the stone on it would have sunk over later years so that's the reason why it's all here and it gave me a good place to get rid of all the uh, structure that we demolished. Now completed digging out the patio area and uh, got all the soil out of here and onto the top level and I've put the rake attachment on the bucket so I'm going to start distributing this ground and try to get an even level all the way through. There's quite a lot of soil here, but it's got to go down a little bit yet to have compacted the machine as I'm doing this. As you can see, I've graded out this soil. I haven't finished it yet, and um, I've redistributed it, and uh, what I've got to do now is just get it all to the right final finish. We're bringing the stone in. We've dug the patio area out. One load on the drive, and uh, Still a load on the truck which has got to be tipped off and I'll bring that in with a digger and dumper while he's going off to get some more. So we're just leveling a bit of this snow now, we've got a little bit more to fetch in yet. Right. Just bringing in the last bit of stone now, hopefully. I don't think I've got that dumper loaded. Adam's Reef manufacturing a couple of fence panels to go into the small bits over there and this bit here. I'm just regrading the soil out and taking the high spots into the low spots. quite a bit of this leveled out yesterday and uh, I'm going to put that path down temporarily today alongside the fence. I think our turf's arrived. Here's the guys with the turf. Wall Brothers, Lee and his mate. He's doing a great job. I've started to grade this off now. I've put my screeding board on the bucket. We've done all the raking and the compacting and panning it all out. So now I'm just putting the finishing level for the turf and I'm going to film me just doing a little bit of that. Adam's brought the first load of turf in and started putting it down. It's a bit awkward to video this with the way the shadows and the sun is. Ah, oh, here comes Caroline with our tea. She's at home today, usually at work, but today we got the privilege of a good cup of tea. Mark, that's all, but it's better to get those out. Right, so here you go. 
I am doing some work around here. And all this hard work, and I'm still fat. I can't believe it. You see what we cut up to yesterday? We've left this little bit in the corner because we have to dig the stump out. All the turf is here and all the turf is down almost. It's looking very nice. The hose pipe's there because we put water on it last night. It's looking really good. So today we're going to attempt to take this stump out, which is going to be a bit of a challenge, I think. It goes right underneath the wall and the wall is cracked and we're going to have a go at it anyway. Right, so dug all around it now. I'm just going to hope that it's going to move. Everything sorted here, we've just got to get the hole filled in now, digging some stuff out the front garden and putting in there. And we've got to get a load of gravel for the front. And uh, we'll get on with it. So we've got the hole filled in and Adam has put in the roller on it. We've rolled it a few times as we've been filling it up, just to come back it in layers. We're adding extra trellis to the top of this fence now as an afterthought. Um, our customer decided that uh, he's going to have a bit more privacy. But the thing is, it should have been done from the start. Nobody anticipated it, otherwise we would have put longer posts in. So what we're having to do is put extensions on by screwing steel reinforced bars behind the post into the concrete post and then wood in between. But I think it's going to look alright. There's Liz again and she's brought us out some tea and, uh, and some sausage rolls. And it's just about the end of the job now and we've got no video left at all hardly. We've just put the finishing touches, we've put all the fence up all the way around. Somebody in the background's got a saw going. So that's great, and Adam's been an absolute gem, and we couldn't have done it without him. And of course to Sam, who's no longer with us, he just stood in for Adam while he was on holiday. But everything looks good, we've got one panel to put in, and we'll have to shut our friendly neighbour out. And we'll do that before we go. We've left this soil a little bit high around the tree, because we've actually undermined, almost undermined the tree. We've taken out all the way down below the level of those gravel boards from the other side. The lawn is looking great. Adam's putting some water on it. Everything's coming together fine. Fence is fine. We've added the trellis as an afterthought. We would have put longer posts in if we'd have known that the trellis was going up. But we've filled in and bolted it with steel brackets and drilled into the post, so it doesn't look so bad. We've put hardcore in on the patio area that's all ready for whoever slabs it, whether it's us or somebody else. But what we've done is the preparation, I'm leaving the machinery here. And we're just about wound up, we just got to wait for the customer to come out and give us his final approval in a moment. It's all done. How are you feeling about it? Well, I've got to say, um, when I first met Eric, um, I think what sold me the job is his attention to detail. Uh, and that was the biggest selling point for me. And I think, obviously, as you can see, as you look around the garden, the attention to detail has been exactly what I expect in that. So, uh, I can't fault the workmanship and uh, the application that's been uh, applied over the last number of weeks. So, I'm very pleased with the work that's been carried out. That's great. It's been a pleasure to do business with you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you for the hospitality and thank your wife when she comes out from work. She's been great with the tea and everything. It's been a pleasure.